question has come whether uh, Rama is Sri Ram is real or Hindu gods real and if so would there ever be any evidence found for existence of Sri Rama in the history is Sri Ram real and if even if we find the evidence of existence of a prince called Ram in Ayodhya what would that prove even if we find that all the incidences happened in at some time point in history what would what would that prove would that prove that Ram is supreme reality from the every cell of which millions of universes arise and subside at the same time would that prove that Ram is God as well as non-God and everything which ever existed or is existing and would exist would that prove that Ram is beyond space and time? Would that prove that Ram is the only supreme consciousness? What would that prove? Because even when Ram and Krishna were existing and they were playing their Leela, there were people who never recognized that they were supreme God. In fact, that is one of the quality of one of the property when they descend only very pure being realized that they are supreme god and even very pure being also get confused witnessing the leela of ram or krishna or god only creates confusion in the minds of people who are witnessing it even pure being like garuda when he saw ram being tried in the battlefield by the Nagpas and he got confused. How is this? How he can be the supreme god, supreme being? Duryodhan and other kings, they witnessed so many miracles of Krishna. Krishna's whole life was full of miracles. There were miracles at every step, but they used to call him illusionist, a magician or some sort of trickster. So, would that and that is the one of the property of the god that when he comes and he can the maya shakti the Ill illusory power of the god it confuses it blinds the people from his divinity otherwise they would not be able to fulfill the function so even when he revealed himself to kaushalya or yashoda sometimes he would uh, reveal himself to the yashoda and she will be frightened and she, they won't be able to do anything like fulfill their motherly roles and then again he would delude their mind sort of confuse them and start crying behaving just like a child so that they will again fulfill the motherly role because the chief objective of the Ram or Krishna is to play that Leela, otherwise it won't be possible. So, for example, when um, there has been incidences with Ram and Sita where the Sita could appear in multiple forms, when um, the queens uh, they went to Chitrakoot and Sita herself appeared in multiple forms and she served, she spent time with all her mother in laws. Ram comes back to Ayodhya and he sees so many people and he suddenly appears in multiple forms and he meets everyone. When the monkeys come, so grief calls monkeys and all the monkeys are coming and the, those monkeys are like they are 
millions of monkeys but there is not a monkey with whom ram has not personally interacted because he immediately he, he appears in the multiple forms and he assumes multiple forms and personally interacts with every monkey and that is the case with the that happens with krishna also many times so he could have very well assumed two form and one form would have remained in ayodhya and dasrath his father wouldn't have died and so much misery wouldn't have been cast to bharat and cost and everyone and another form could have gone and very well killed ram ravan and uh, fulfill all the leela which was required but he didn't do it so because that leela has to be played so the power of the maya or the illusion is so great that it just blinds people they are not able to realize even when they are existing that they are caught themselves now even if we come to know that there was a prince called ram or prince called krishna and they did exactly what they did what would that prove the question will still remain so the real question is whether ram was that supreme reality whether krishna was that supreme reality or not and that is a question which can be answered because if ram or krishna was supreme reality that reality is existing right now so it's not the question whether ram was but the question is whether ram is whether ram exists whether krishna exists there is a real question the answer to it can be found out and at another level the reality is what we call reality is the world is like a dream the only truth is ram or krishna or parmatma that supreme reality so in the dream world we cannot found there are elements of truth in this dream world too so ram is the element of truth or the is katha is the element of truth it contains the truth so is the story is true that is the only truth and the world which we see around us is just illusory dream and in a dream how would you def- assert in what is truth or what is not true what is not true we cannot go to the history of some event we are seeing in the dream in the dream only truth is what is you can see in the present you cannot say in the dream world look okay, what happened before so many years or centuries or millennia ago and whether it was true or not dream contains some uh, profound truth sometimes for example the structure of benzene was discovered in dream and the theory of neurotransmitters was also discovered in dream sometimes they contains they, they contain hint to the reality dreams are not uh, totally false they contain some elements of truth but that element of truth can be you can only and once you realize that truth in the dream the only uh, the only solution when you are in a dream to realize truth of something of the dream world is to wake up and after waking up you will realize okay what i saw in the dream was true or not so and in dream sometimes it happens that you, as your dream is start coinciding with reality to a great degree you, and you focus on reality in dream world suddenly you find yourself waking up so only solution for that is to wake up from that reality you cannot find the evidence for ram in the dream the only uh, way evidence can be found is to by waking up so in the dream world you will see the people are not believing in they, they do not believe as such that the, such person existed that the supreme reality can in the form can come in the form of a man uh, and it is not uh, some minority opinion even your government uh, indian government had filed an affidavit the previous government that ram is a mythological character even many religious people believe that ram was an ordinary ordinary man who just uh, 
by some spiritual discipline or something he attained some sort of buddhahood and become enlightened and he realized god within himself and that is something which every, everyone can do so for him they call ram as mahapurush so we are all we are all entitled to become mahapurush though we may not be, uh, become we may choose not to become but we if we exert sufficiently we can become many people believe like that many people believe that ram is just a metaphor and that whole story of rama and is a metaphor for uh, to elucidate some principle about consciousness or something it's a, he's a metaphor for some abstract consciousness which permeates the entire universe and uh, we once we uh, get out of our limited ego we are we can merge with that consciousness and we can become that consciousness and ram was just that consciousness so many people believe like that but uh, so these these are all various things which uh, various types of beliefs which you found uh, which you find in the dream world whether they correspond to reality or not is something which you can only know by waking up and once you wake up to ram and you find that there is there is evidence for ram in entire creation every tiny particle is witness to that ram but when you are in dream world you won't find any evidence because how can you find some how can you prove the existence of sun by some light so you take the sun and we you have to prove that sun exists you cannot point some uh, you cannot use the light of the torch or some lamp to show that to okay, sun exists but once you have seen sun and you are you know that sun is there and it is as clear as normally is then you will find everything on the earth is proof of sun being there so ram can be found so the question is whether ram is whether ram exists and whether he he would have come as a man and that evidence for that is overwhelming it, can, it ram is not the uh, object of logic he cannot be an object of anything so intellect can never prove the existence of ram or logic fails there because intellect logic is the subject of uh, logic is the object of intellect and your intellect your ego your uh, mind your body they are all the part of uh, they are all parts of nature they are they, they are not they are inert in themselves they are just the the exists by the tiny very tiny part of uh, ram so evidence for ram can be even if ram appears before you just uh, like that what would it do what would it prove it would prove nothing it can be a ghost it can be an illusion it can be a devil it can be anything how would you know that it is ram that is the real question and once you have gone to that extent once you want to seek once you are ready to wake up once you are ready to invest your energy into that question you will find that the there is no evidence for ram if you have not experienced and you have ex- if you have experienced then everything is ev- evidence for ram everything is proof for ram we give lot of importance to this reality of dream world there are materialists to say that the matter is the ultimate reality though now we are discovering more and more that matter is just tiny part of the maybe 1 or 2 percent of the entire universe there is dark matter and dark energy about which we don't know anything and even this matter when most of it is empty and there are subatomic particles electron proton neutron and they at that level when if you go they behave so wildly that you cannot say anything about them 
you cannot say whether electron is at one place it can be at two places simultaneously it can be in the past it can be in the future just google quantum tunneling just it can be it can entangle with another particle and even if they are billions of miles apart they are still connected in some strange way and when you go at that level you will find that everything is dependent on observer if there is no observer there are only waves they exist only in the form of uh, in the form of waves but the moment you observe them collapse occur and they become particles and that is true of if that is true there there then that is true of the whole world in fact if there is no one to see then the world exists in sort of form of wave and all the scientists would say, tell that okay you don't need consciousness there even if you put some insentient detector which is going to detect whether it is wave or particle and the uh, electrons start behaving like particle but it can be said that one need a consciousness one needs to be conscious to see the that insentient detector detecting whatever uh, whether it is particle or wave so the whole reality is, is derived in a way from consciousness and it behaves really in a very wild fashion like electrons can go back in time and behave in a totally different way and emerge in present they can go in future time is fuzzy if you go to the the only way to describe it is by a string theory which is a mathematical construct and there it has huge implications where it says that uh, most of the scientists are believing that reality might be just a simulation it might be that this world is like that movie matrix it is a simulated world and it is or it might be a holographic the three dimensions in which we exist might be the holographic projection of a two dimensional reality on the surface of a black hole there are multiple theory of multiverses so there are multiple universes and there might be one day they will see there are multi multiverses today they are saying that we are living in simulations but we have been simulated by our future self there is a very solid argument as the computational power goes on increasing it's very it's very certain that the beings of future would simulate the past on their computer and our probability of being in a virtual world is far higher than so the, we are living in simulations many scientists believe that way but there is no way to prove it or falsify it but all the logics are all arguments are pointing to that direction and if that is so then who simulated the simulators and who simulated those super simulators so reality is very treacherous and it might happen that you might one day wake up to find that you were just under the influence of maya of ravana or meghna then you are just a monkey fighting in the <laughs> battle of rama if you are lucky so the real question is whether ram exists and if ram exists then everything is possible ram's story is also possible and there are multiple stories of ram infinite and there are infinite depths in, in those stories and you will find that that is true or false only once you wake up to the reality of rama but do you have time are you ready to invest that energy are you ready to take the, that journey one would say if that was so it, would, it should have been very easy and 
it is in DTC. It's easy to find Ram or Krishna himself has said in Gita, Tasyaham Sulubham Partha. I am very easily attainable. But Sa Mahatma Sadurlava means anyone who wants to realize me is very rare. If you go and you, you, you go in your society and because this this is you you will see okay, I have to attain God, then you are just dropping out of everything. You will find because it's not something uh, right now we feel that okay we are taking a walk in the park and if you find a dollar note you will just take it and God is also like that. It's not like that. You have to focus entire attention, entire energy on that. Then only you will, and once you have found it you can then function in the world. But are you ready to invest that energy? Are you ready to invest that attention to it because you will find that once there are everyone around you will either actively oppose it all those near and dear ones they, they, they will be against you because you are dropping out of their game you are no longer useful to them you will you won't get any support from the society you will feel humiliated you will feel insulted are you ready to go there? Are you ready to go to that extent where everything becomes secondary on the own and only realization of Brahma or Krishna is the primary? Then it just happens in a fraction of a second. It doesn't take time. You may look around and see people going around their lives and you might feel that okay, no one is there who can tell you that yeah, God exists or God doesn't exist. I, I have experience. You go and ask, do you know? Have you seen? Have you seen Rama or have you seen Krishna? Do they exist? And they might say one thing or the other. You will find that there are like billions of people living on the planet and they are they cannot be wrong, you would say. Because if, even if there was even the slightest possibility of witnessing this splendor, then at least like you would have encountered someone who has gone whole length and seen it. You can see sannyasis, but sannyasis are not that. They are just following another profession as you have doctor, engineer, so there are sannyasis who are just making their living out of it and even if they overcome the lure of wealth or money or materiality or social work or nationalism or social recognition they are caught up in name and fame they are caught up in siddhis so because this is all, all, everyone you are encountering they are creatures of the dream and you you feel that everyone in your dream should wake up first and then you will try to wake up. Well, that can never happen. Only you can wake up from the dream. And once you wake up, you will find that probably everyone knows about Ram. They are hiding from you. Everyone has seen him. Everyone has realized him. They are just hiding from you. They are just playing tricks on you. It might be a possibility. Even the most evil person is just playing their role and the he has realized Ram and he is playing that role according to his destiny or whatever. So important thing is for you to ask that you cannot rely on the creatures of the dream. However exalted, however famous, however respectable, however worthy of evolution they might be in this world. So the important question I would say is that whether Ram or Krishna exists and whether are you ready to investigate, are you ready to question. Otherwise, even if you find the evidence from the history they are of who use, even if the Ram and Krishna presents themselves to you, 
in the form of their leela you won't be able to recognize krishna murti said too much brilliance blinds one he said he used to say people they come and they do not listen to me they fall in love with me instead of listening and paying attention to what i am saying they respect me they say oh you are enlightened man enlightened man and they do not listen to what i am saying so this is the important question many indians many hindus they want that ram should be proof we should find some ram proof of ram so that we can just like me prophet muhammad or jesus christ so that we can also say that our god is also real and our god also existed in history and that we can feel very pride and we can feel that pride and that ego yeah we are also a true religion and if we do not find that evidence in the history then people say that okay these gods like ganesh or parvati or kali they are all like some imagination they are like comic characters and many hindus also believe that but they will say oh there is some import behind there there is some abstract meaning behind those forms those are just, those are just symbols and i am saying they are not just symbol you can have this reality is symbol that this reality which you consider as reality is a symbol which is which is unfolding according to your own programs according to your own conditioning which you have gathered over millions of lives so this reality is symbol it is there is nothing behind it but that is the only reality like shiva said shankar ji said the only truth is ram and his story this reality is just a distorted version of that the story the way because and it, it the responsibility doesn't lie on the reality but on ourselves because we our ego our mind it, it is it is seeing it on a very superficial level and we suffer and we we undergo pain we undergo torture because this reality is and because we are seeing it from the filter of the tv this reality appears to be a very distorted version of that story of rama because otherwise you will find once you wake up that story is rama is unfolding in eternity there is no other truth than that story It requires a certain degree of devotion. Ram is not object of truth. Ram is object of an experience, or rather, Ram is subject of experience. I would say he is subject of everything. I hope it answers your question.